10, 60 years since the U.S. Supreme Court ordered the end of racial segregation in public schools. But in a Tulsa community meeting tonight, the question raised, are Tulsa schools resegregating? Tune News reporter Joe Hankey joins us with a discussion. People I heard from tonight say here in Tulsa, segregation is still present and it is about more than just race. When people say segregated schools, I think neighborhood schools. And I don't think neighborhoods is a bad thing. Before a packed room tonight at Rudisil Regional Library, Ed Martinez represented the Hispanic community in Tulsa. Martinez says desegregating schools in the 1970s brought positives, but also negatives. What it did, I think, it took, it stripped out the neighborhood schools. It took the schools out of the neighborhood. And when we did that, I think we took the parents out of the picture. And I think not having the parents in the education picture it may be part of the problem we're having today. Martinez says due to a rapid increase in the Hispanic community, resegregation is taking place in some parts of Tulsa. When things happen in a gradual manner, you can adapt to them. But when things happen overnight, you're playing catch-up ball the whole time. And that's what's happening with the Tulsa Public Schools. Which TPS Superintendent Keith Ballard recognizes. We want diversity in our schools. That will help race relations better than anything. The challenge, seeking diversity while trying to provide a quality education for every student. But it's caused me to take a look at demographic information, which I think is good for us to do from time to time. Living in Tulsa for most of his life, Ray Piercy says when schools desegregated in the 70s, Tulsans took chances. Unique magnet schools, church groups becoming involved in education, and desegregation at Booker T. Washington. Piercy says children, parents, and the education system benefited. That often works in this town, uh, uh, doing things uh, uh, to get people to take a, take a chance is uh, kind of at the core of what Tulsa is at its best. Perhaps what is needed to desegregate again, but now there is also economic segregation between TPS and surrounding districts. 88% of our kids in Tulsa Public Schools come from poverty. That only leaves 12% who aren't coming uh, from, from poverty. The organizers of tonight's discussion say the topic of resegregation is complex. No date scheduled yet, but I'm told tonight's event may turn into a series allowing more voices to be heard. Joe Henke, 2 News works for you.